Greetings Weight Watchers and friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Love Fuller and I am here with the Weight Watchers Weigh In Update. This is season four, week four, season four for sure. I went back and I looked at my uh, videos and I started on September 29th, 2014. It's interesting though because I look very different. Like, you know how they say you lose inches? I mean, I am, I think, hmm, like 22 pounds down from the day that I made that video. And on that video, I had already lost nine pounds. So I guess I'm 31 pounds down. I'll take it. I mean, I'll take it four years, but okay, I'll take it. Because before I started um, basically posting on Instagram is when I started. So, but before I started on Instagram and um, <laughs> this is beep, car, horn, car horn beeping. Before I started on Instagram and YouTube, I really had not ever lost weight consistently other than like one time when I was like in college. So the fact that I was like, I could lose 30 pounds at all was a miracle. So I have lost more, had lost more than that. And of course, you know, you might know my, be familiar with my regain story, but I am on week, I'm on week four of my comeback story. Oh, I just made that up just now. I like it, I like it. It's my comeback story, okay. So um, as I normally do, I'll tell you uh, how my week went how um, I did on the scale, and what I will do differently next week. How my week went, this week I told you that I was gonna have a very busy week, that I was gonna be out every single day, and I was out every single day this week, every single day. Um, and I, similar to like last week, I was telling you that I, I was out several times last week doing, you know, this is social season in Kuwait. Uh, our season starts, I would say, in September, the beginning of the school year, where everybody comes back from their vacations and their travels, and the school year starts and everybody gets settled. Um, so do so do the um, social club start up and the like meetup groups and everything like that start up again in the in the um, fall. So. That also coincides with, coincides with my own year because I go home in the summers and come back, um, you know, in the fall or winter. And I started that because my children were here, my daughter, and then also I had my stepsons my first year, and I took them home for the summers, um, the first couple, I mean, every summer, basically. So, yeah, so this is, uh, this is my social season. <laughs> and I went out every single day this week, and I did well at the places that I went, except one day I went out and I did not eat breakfast before I left because it was like early. We're supposed to be like leaving like early, like eight o'clock in the morning. And I don't eat breakfast very early. So although I packed my stuff, like I made my breakfast, I just didn't get a chance to eat it before the people came to pick me up. And um, I took it with me. But when I got there, they had, had they had like real food there as opposed to just all, always having, very often they have um, just pastries and things like that. So what I did was I filled my plate with first salad, then fruit, then entrees. And I chose the entrees that were healthier. Like um, there was like a... a a crustless quiche there. There was lasagna, but I had a really small, like a really small square of lasagna. It was really, really small. That's how they were they were cut because you know they weren't making sure it, you know, there was enough for everyone. Um, there was um, like some sauteed spinach, which I was con considered like an entree, and um, something else. I can't remember what it was, but again kind of um, protein protein heavy um, although of course the lasagna had had some pasta had pasta in it but that was the most carby thing I had except I did have a piece of German cake that my friend made now German cake is 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 not as sweet well the German cakes that I've had or she's told me about are not as sweet as regular cakes or 
cakes, American cakes, I'm gonna say, not regular cakes, American cakes. I would say for the most part, the sweets and the and bakery items in this region are not as sweet, like here in Kuwait, I would say, are not as sweet as US products. They have bakeries all over the place for like crazy, ridiculously good prices. Thank God they're not like, they don't like call my name the way they would. If we had bakeries on every corner for like, for with like fresh baked, you know, pastries for no, like almost no money, I couldn't take it in America. But it's not like that here. The the food is not very sweet. So I had a piece of the German um, um, cake, a slice of the German cake. That was my dessert. And I limited myself to one plate. So I got, put that stuff on my plate and that was it. Like I said, veggie, fruit, and it was veggie and fruit heavy. And I had the smallest sliver that there was, that there were, not sliver, the smallest slice that was cut for the German cake. I literally like got a slice on a different side of the cake to make sure I got the smallest um, um, slice. So I'm like, okay, I'm doing okay. Of course I had water to drink or my coffee I had with me. I was like, okay, I'm doing okay. But I, and I was like satiated by that amount of food on my plate. My, my, my plate was full, but I was satiated. People went back for seconds, I didn't. And, but I was just like, uh, proud of myself, but I was like, uh, like I could, at some points I said, okay, I'm not even going to look when I pass by the, by the um, buffet. I'm not even going to look because I felt the, 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 the monster kind of, but I didn't realize the monster was rearing its head. So I was like, well, I will go back. And I went back like three more times and got one piece of pineapple. Well, long story short. We're a long story still long. I think that that pineapple triggered me. Like the pineapple was fresh cut, but it was sweet enough to trigger me. It was sweeter than the um, German cake and it was sweet enough, I think, to trigger me. So when I got home, I was like, <laughs> so I did well there, but then when I got home, I just ate. So that was on Tuesday, that was on Thursday. So I was out of order on Thursday and pretty well out of order on Friday, although I kind of, I think I still stayed mostly within my points on Friday, but oh yeah, all day Friday until at night, I just ate something like whatever. So then Saturday and Sunday, I kind of got back on track. So that was that was good so that was like the basically the the major thing of my week i forgot to mention last week that i'm still doing the 100 day challenge where i'm doing a, a 30 at least 30 minutes of, cont of continuous activity every single day i'm still doing it the lazy way where i'm just you know maybe sometimes on the treadmill i don't think i got on the treadmill at all this week but like walking around the grocery store walking around with my friends shopping um walking around, talking on the phone, lazy, lazy, lazy way, but it is still focus, dedication, making sure I'm doing it every, every day. And it is, I do think that it makes a difference. I just do. I know it makes a difference for me because when I'm just sedentary, it shows up all over my body. So it does make a difference, but I can, I know I can ramp it up some. All right. And so when I got on the scale, this week, because I get on this, I still I still weigh every day. That is helpful for me to weigh every day. Um, the scale was like up, 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 up. It's, it seems like it always happens this way. It's like up, 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 up. Um, and then it, I think maybe in the beginning it kind of was like a little bit down, but then I went up after I was just like whatever on that Thursday, and then Friday was eh, and um, so the scale was up, and then today it was down. Well, yesterday it started coming down, and today it was down, and I was down from last week. I was 259.4. Today I was 257, down 2.4 pounds. Yay! That's really good because I have, that's the most weight I've lost the whole time since in all these four weeks. I don't remember where I started four weeks ago. I think I was at... 272. I was at 272 actually. So I'm at 257. Is that true? 262. 262. I was at 262 and so now I'm at 257. 
58, 59, 60, 61, 62. Only five pounds in four weeks. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it because it's better than I have been doing, which is going the opposite direction. Going up, 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 up. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Oh, and one thing I did also do this week I forgot to say was that I started kind of meal prepping. But I just basically made some. What I do, I do freezer cooking. I make these meals in advance and then I freeze them. But the thing is that my husband has been like eating more than he normally has and I haven't been I was out all the time this so much this week I didn't really cook that much so we're all out of the stuff as of today but seriously these last several days it has helped me so so much I think I did that on Friday actually I think I cooked this stuff on Friday on Friday so Friday Saturday Sunday it helped me tremendously maybe I could it on Thursday but no I don't think so it helped me tremendously. Having this stuff like, you know, protein rich, you know, delicious foods. I made impossible cheeseburger pie or impossibly easy cheeseburger pie. Of course, I modified it to be lower in smart points. And I also made a breakfast casserole. That's pretty much it. Oh, and then I also had um, some like burrito kind of things um, that I made in my air fryer. I got an air fryer. I'm so excited about it. Uh, I have a story about that. Hopefully I'll post it so you can see the story about my air fryer. Um, and yeah, so basically those were the major three things that, I, that I'd that i made. I had already prepped my husband's breakfast and stuff for like the first, like that took me, started in the beginning of the week. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. But um. That makes all the difference in the world. So what I'm gonna do differently this week is I'm going to hopefully have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prep. I don't know, I'm gonna prep. I'm gonna have enough prep for the entire week. I don't like to eat the same thing over and over and over again. So I need to make like several like different plates or dishes or whatever so I won't get tired of them. And um, I'm gonna head into the kitchen and start doing that now. What I'm gonna do differently this week is I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna, oh, I need to drink more water. I need to drink my more water more diligently. I'm not doing well on my with my water at all. I think there's like this app, or this is the plant app or something like that that people are using to, to track their water, which I mean, I don't think, do I need an app to track my water? I'm just, I know I'm not drinking water. I'm gonna put out four, four bottles of water every day and drink them. <laughs> Especially on a day like I'm home, like this. This week I'm home a lot. This week, today's a Monday. I'm home today. I, I do have Bible study tomorrow, but then I'm home. I might meet up with a friend on Wednesday. I'm not sure, but if not, I'm gonna be home on Wednesday. I think I, I, everything I have so far scheduled is in the evenings. So I'll I'll um, drink my water in the morning before I go. Water, and then of course my activity. I would like to to like bump up my activity a little bit. I'd like to get back into some line dancing because I'm like, I haven't line danced in weeks. So I don't want my, I don't want to be fall, fall too far behind from with my line dancing crew in, in Atlanta. So, um, so that's that. That's it. That's my week. I'm down 2.4. Woo! Which is awesome because like, I also want to say, I watched this lady, um, Tiara. I've been watching her since, I think I started watching her before I even came on YouTube myself. I think I was watching her when I had my couponing channel and um, Cutting Edge Couponers. I still have it, although I'm not using it right now since I haven't been couponing. But, um, oh my gosh, I remember, like she was like a teenager then, I feel like, or like a really, really young 20s. And she was so raw and so real and she was just like really like she would oh, she would show her body and she was saying you know gosh you know I want to lose weight I want to look good I want to be whatever and it's so crazy to see her now she's still on her you know weight loss journey but she's come so freaking far it's like she shows her stomach and it's like she was over she was really over what she said she was like 240 pounds or something like very overweight or maybe more than that, I don't remember, but she was like very overweight. Her, her, you know, her skin was kind of stretched out, you know, that how that works. And so, but her stomach has gone all the way down. Now granted, I know she's like in her 20s or like early 30s or whatever, and I'm not, but I've never seen that, like without surgery, without anything like that, for her, for someone's stomach to go all the way down. She was like, you can even like, she's like, I'm seeing abs now. And I'm like, yeah, girl, I'm seeing the abs too. All the way down, even her like, her like bottom little belly thing. She doesn't have any children or anything like that, but still, that was like super inspiring. I just watched her yesterday. Her channel now is called, um, 
I don't know, it used to be called She Ain't Giving Up 160. So I'm sure if you put that in there, She Ain't Giving Up 160, it'll still show it'll still show up because you know YouTube keeps the, the your old channel names um there. So that's my inspirational story for the week. Go ahead, Tiara. Tiara, I think she calls it her name herself Tiara. She moved, she used to like be in New York all the time. Like she's from New York and she moved to Florida. So it's like crazy to see her life change and just see her just like those years ago, that young girl, literally, if she had seen herself, could be able to see herself today, she would just be, like, overcome. Overcome with just emotion and just pride and just, like, oh, my God, Joy, I can't believe. She would not, she would be, like, she she always, like, was saying it. She wanted to get there. Like, she kind of, like, like is, like, she's a planner. She's an organizer. She's, like, you know, I'm going to do this. But, like, she also was struggling with, like, self-esteem issues which I think so many of us do when we're you know we have body issues or whatever um or just life issues women issues life issues I don't know some so many of us do and um gosh to see her now like if she could see herself now she would just be like oh my god oh my god oh my god so anyway that was my inspirational story for this week once again, YouTube YouTube inspires me, and um, I'm so glad that y'all are out here speaking your truth, and I will just continue to do my best to speak, speak my truth, and um, keep moving forward. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ciao, friends.